Hello everybody, Bets Golden here. I have a swap that I'm participating in that is a envelope swap where you create three envelopes like with paint and stuff and you swap it with another individual and you get three back. One of the sizes I have to use is this size and one of the things we have to take into consideration is it has to be really mailable. Like you have to be able to mail it. It can't just be pretty. So that means that there's no stickers, which is good. I don't use stickers. Washi tape. I didn't know that washi tape was a problem because I use washi tapes on envelopes all the time. Anything that is bulky 3D just can't to be on envelope. So basically it's stamping, painting, inking, markers, watercolor markers, and colored crayons, which is a great variation of mediums and, and gives you lots of options to do an envelope. So I thought for the first envelope, I would actually go ahead and use my jelly press. And what I'm gonna do in addition to using my jelly press is when I have to clean my little roller, I'm going to clean it over here in my journal. And since I'm using the Dina Wakely paints on this, I'm just going to use her mixed media journal. And this will allow a nice background page for me to use in the future. This actually is the craft that's on the front of the page that I just, you know, put paint on in general. But I, I'm not loving these hearts that I have. And so I think I'm going to use the brayer on the hearts after I brayer this and then um, once I get those covered to my liking if I do I'll go ahead and do this page so I'm kind of doing two three projects at the same time here using the jelly press but I want to use all that ink so some of this doesn't make any sense it looks like this I'm going to use for texture later this is going to be the ink I'm going to use to use this border stamp that I'm going to place on the side of the envelope and the washi I'm actually going to use that to mask out an area for address so let me do that first a lot of people do die cuts with labels and I thought that I would do that but I really um, I just I, I just thought that this would be kind of cool looking and so I'm gonna do these with washi tape and you don't have to um, mask out an area on envelopes but I like to because you know you kind of have to you got to write somebody's address down so I like to write I, I like to do it leave a nice space for somebody and I'm only going to do the front. Norm normally I would do a return address up here, but since this is a decorated envelope, I would prefer for the, the return address to go on the back. So that's what I'm going to do with these. And then once this is all dry and we're done, I'll, I'll lift that washi tape up. The reason why I use washi tape is because it's really easy to lift up. It doesn't really stick all that great. So, And I'm using something, a washi tape, that I don't really get much use. My kids are older now. We don't do Disneyland much. So Mickey, you're it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay some colors down and I'm thinking I'm going to do blue, and some pink. And I'll add in and this is not, I'm, I'm sorry, I misspoke. This is actually turquoise. And this is, I can't even say it. Magneta, Magneta, I don't know. I, I'm horrible with saying words sometimes. All right, but anyway, let me go ahead and just I like about jelly press is you never really know what you're gonna get until you press it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down first like this. Let's see what we get. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty. So there's this. I have, I like that spot right there I want to get. So let me just do this. There we go. And then I want to have another spot right there I want. There we go. So I like that first coat. That looks really nice. And that was just really simple technique. So now what I'm going to do is on top of this, I'm going to go ahead and add some cheddar. And I'm not trying to cover my entire jelly board with this at this point, simply because um, I'm just going to put a little bit of texture into this envelope but not too much because I don't want it to compete horribly with my stamp that makes sense and I am not a jelly press user like I hate to say that but I'm not so I'm gonna go ahead and push this in first just to lift and give some personality and this is gonna be really cool too I can use this again there, right there, maybe down there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that on that side, see how I feel about it. Because I'm gonna put the stamp on the other side. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. But since I'm gonna put the stamp on this side, I think I'm just gonna leave that like so. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm cleaning my room right now. My journal. And if I hate it, it's okay because I can just keep working on it. And I do kind of hate it. But, you know, that's all right. I'm not going to like everything all the time. So I think I am going to just go ahead and try to get a background on this journal real quick since I have the jelly press out. Then I'm going to show you something kind of cool. You can do a duct tape. And I'm really, these colors I know blend well together, so that's why I'm okay with that. All right. Go ahead, just put this down. This is just kind of a little bit of a bonus project right now, right? Oh, coming along, I like it. Then what I can do is I can take my duct tape and so you may want to use duct tape to go ahead and clean your jelly press if that makes you happy um i don't care if mine's dirty i kind of like it dirty because it can be used later so you just put duct tape down not duct tape packing tape i'm still working on my coffee Okay, so you're going to put this down like so. And then when you lift it, it really does pull up the rest of the residue of that paint without damaging your jelly press. So, dun dun dun. See how much paint that got up? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and slap it right in my art journal, like so. And now I have a really cool another mixed media component to my art journal that I can play with later. So that's kind of cool. In fact, I like that so much, but before I pull up more, I'm just gonna get this, cause I wanna, I kind of decorate. Like since I've already pulled this out, my intention on using this right here, the congruent, is to add texture to my envelope. But since I have it out, I might as well use it. All right, and I'm gonna put some more duct tape down. I really like this, I think it's fun. It looks really cool, I'll show you.
I'm just laying it like randomly in my journal. So totally laying it randomly in my journal. here so I'm gonna that there and then there's a lot over here and I'm just gonna These are supposed to be stick-free scissors, but they're kind of sticking. Okay, so I have that there. I'm just gonna really rub it down, make sure I get it all up, or as much up as I can. And then I'm gonna switch a spot so you can see. That's my journal. one. I think I'm just going to put it right there. I like that. I think it looks really cool. And when I go ahead and do this page, it's going to add a different type of base to work on. So it'll like my ink will interact really different with it which is awesome okay so anyway that's just something you can do another way that you can use your jelly press if you want to clean it that's a good way to do it is use that duct tape to lift up the rest of that paint if you don't like it dirty and then pop it and you can use that paint to pop it, you know, in your journal or um, on a card or wherever you your heart desires. So I'm just going to fold it over. It's all good like that, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this mixed media card that I'm doing right now. The jelly print. But and I even have a wrinkle in there. But wrinkles are fun. Okay, so... This is by far not not done, not even close, but it's a nice start. I like it, it's so cool. Okay, so let me see how dry my paint is and see if I can move on. That's pretty dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put a Brutus Monroe stamp on here. This stamp is called Rose Border, the stamp set. I'm using the surface ink on it because it's multi-surface and I know it'll work on the paint. Sometimes stamps don't work on paint, so or ink doesn't. His does, so that's why I'm doing it. And this is the Rose Border release in June 2017. And I'm just gonna do it off to the side. And then I'm gonna add one of the little sentiments on the bottom. Okay, so here's this. And I don't always clean my stamps either. I know that's so bad. But when I do, I use Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean. I just discovered it and I love it. So I'm gonna ink this up really well. I wanna get a nice coverage on it. I'm also stamping on this foam pad. You can get a foam pad for your clear stamps like this in the children's section or kids section at your local craft store. What this does is it just allows the impression to be more crisp and detailed. If you do this on a hard surface, sometimes you'll have spots that the stamp didn't stamp and so you'll have like holes in your image. So this combats that. It's a nice cheap little alternative. This is a little bit thicker than the stuff that you can find in the children's section, but it works. Okay, I think I have that pretty 
good and covered. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it off, I think. I think I want some of it off like so. And I'm just gonna really press. Some people are CPR stampers or they do this, you know, <laughs> bringing it back to life. I'm a presser. <laughs> I'm a rubber. I give massages to my stamps to make sure they go on well. All right, so let's see what we have here. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. What a pretty, fun, easy. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So let's go ahead and put a sentiment right down there. I'm going to use the same stamp set, the Rose Border stamp set. And I don't want it to be too specific because I don't know who my swap partner is or what they're going to use this envelope for. So it needs to be a generic sentiment. I'm going to go with have a beautiful day. And again, I'm using the same ink because it does work on paint. It works on a multitude of surfaces, That's hence why it's called surface ink. And there we go. Have a beautiful day. Here is my envelope, my first of the three envelopes for my swap. I really like it. Jelly Press, Brutus Monroe stamp and ink. And I even got the base done for a really cool mixed media journal page. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Please share and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys. Well, only if you liked it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye, guys.